Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play High Fleet. We've just taken over a chem over here and we're waiting for Sevastopol to get over there. Um, and yes, we found out why it's 96% crew. It's because of those missiles. Um, they don't have enough people for that. Because I guess you have to, I don't know, <clears throat> see what the missiles are doing while you're flying or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Now we've got enough crew. <laughs> All right, so now we gotta get. Well, we don't have to get any um, any uh, fuel because we're gonna get all our fuel over here. It's gonna be tight though because we're gonna be there for a long time. We're gonna try to buy as much fuel as possible, and in fact, we should probably try to sell some of the stuff here. Uh, well, we do have 174 incendiary. We've got some proximity fuses. We must have salvaged. Um, now I gotta go to Shipworks. Shipworks! And then we can sell these things. There. So we get a bit more fuel. And I don't really know why... Oh yeah, because there's no rockets here to buy. That's why. Lightning Mark II. If we were to take one of these off... No, it's still the same. Well, that's fine. Okay. So, we can now just wait a little bit for the morale. There, morale 10, and now we can go to Bokim. Let's see if there's anything around us. Not really. So, off we go. Cheaper fuel! Yeah! I love all these effects. It's so cool. It's weird that we're not actually getting any radio signals so far. We've only gotten one. If there's anything around, we've got a low fuel warning, which is fine, we know that. So, yes, let's send the two lightnings. I do wish it would keep this um, selected, what you had selected before. And this is something I don't understand either. See this lightning over here? And see how this other one has this red stuff? It's like it's damaged or overheated, I'm not really sure which, it's kind of weird. It looks like it's damaged because the, the speed is slightly lower than this one that actually has the rockets on it. So, I don't know. Let's send the two lightnings there. Very, very fast, so there's no way of these guys of actually sending out distress signals. Oh, wow. oh there's actually two of them. There might be a transport there. Excellent. That's going to be an ex uh, some extra money. Yeah, there is. Nice. Qualifier. We know about that, even though I haven't seen that one. I can light up. So we only have the Courageous and the Slogger to beat. And the Odyssey we're going to ignore, even though it does have weapons. But uh, we're going to sell it when it's done. It automatically sells. So um, I'm not going to get the one with missiles. I don't think it's necessary. So let's see where that light, uh, light comes out. Let's get to these guys quickly. Oh, they're already going. Let's try to avoid that. Oh no, that's the that's the transport, darn it. A little too much. Nice, that was already destroyed. Damn. And that's it! <laughs> we don't have to fire about um we don't have oh ammo explosion, bomb explosion. We don't have to worry about the transport because it surrenders automatically when all the escorts are done are gone. And that was another ten thousand. Excellent. So we can secure the ammunition. Uh oh, there's the D80 mullet. I want I want the mullet here first. It's quite expensive. There. Uh now let's Secure the fuel tanks, and then let's search the radio room. 800 fuel, that's actually quite a bit. So now we've got one piece of the um, code they will be using. They're not encoding it just... Well, they might be encoding it. And we didn't really take any damage, it seems. Even though we did get hit. Interesting. Um, I'm actually still going to land with this one, just in case they do have rockets. I don't think it's necessary. But there you go. And it doesn't really matter where we land here, because we are uh, going to be here for quite a while, refueling. 300 meters. 300 meters. 
And you gotta be careful with the descent rate. The lightnings have very uh, powerful engines. That's why I can wait a long time before firing thrusters. But if you're in something heavier, like a Wanderer, uh, you do want to be using the thrusters before that. Or Sevastopol, you pretty much have to fire them uh, as soon as you enter that place. Oh yeah, this is slightly damaged. Okay. Mark 2. And no, they don't have any uh, rockets available here. Alright, that's fine. There's the Mollet, 130 millimeter cannon. And these are 100, right? And look at that. What's the uh, fire rate? 240, and these ones are... See, that's so weird. You have to actually take it off to look at it. Um, 400. So, let's undo that. Oh, yes. Repair. Uh, I'm gonna keep it for now. Alright. Let's go exit. Wait for uh, Sevastopol to get over there. Altitude. Alright, so now... Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Uh, so now, we can get the fuel. All of it. It's quite expensive, but look at that. Uh, it also means that we're going to be here for quite a while. So we got 174 incendiary. Uh, oh. Incendiary. Let's buy some more than... Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Look at these things. 220. Look at that aircraft bomb. 250 kilograms. Oh, that's an aircraft bomb. Okay. Um, yeah. The armor piercing is extremely expensive. Look at that. And I've... Um, I'm usually a cheapskate, so I don't use them. But I guess if you're fighting something with a lot of armor, you would want to go for the armor piercing. And, uh, yeah. We do have the armor piercing whatever is on the ships already. So for now, uh, this is fine. Ship works. All right, let's exit. And let's wait for the refuel. This is going to take a long time. So, um, yeah, we're kind of a sitting duck here. I'm not really sure what happens if you decide to leave before you're fully refueled. I, I don't know if they actually give you the money back. So the next one we're going to go for is Taffet, and soon this place is going to be designated as dangerous. It's going to be a yellow warning, which means that there's an increased chance of us actually getting... Um... Why is this one still... Like it was damaged. Let me see. This one. See, this one, despite the fact that it's got rockets, has a better thrust-to-weight ratio. There's something missing here. Either the engines, and I, but I cannot, I cannot repair this thing. Not really sure what's going on there, but oh well, not gonna worry about it. It's just a tiny little difference. Maybe it's just wear and tear, who knows. So, wow, this is still not dangerous. Look at that, excellent. Nice, and now we can go for the Taffet there. And then we're gonna go straight to Kash. We got a lot of fuel, although at Kash we'll have to actually refuel. Um, and then Asan, this is where these little um, diskette icons are where the game sort of... Well, it saves before that, but it's kind of confusing where it actually saves when you're playing. Apart from these places where it actually says that you can continue your campaign from there. So if I were to quit now, I'm not sure if I would be put right back at Ur. Probably not, but... You know. Okay. Where's that coming from? There. Right there. P Rigel, Rigel, my route, Taffet, ah, Taffet, Kem, so he's going there, uh, no passengers, darn it, uh, and he's just started, which means we don't know his speed, but, okay, so he's just started, let's say that he's about 100 kilometers per hour, uh, which means 
that he'll be there in about nine, just over nine hours. But that is assuming, you know, that's the case. So, uh, the speed of the lightning, so let's see, this is about five hours. So the speed of the lightning is 700 for this guy. So 700. So if we were to send them now, they would just get over there in eight hours. Yeah, in eight hours. We could try that. We could try cutting them off. However, that's the fuel. If we want to return, this is as far as we can go. Uh, but we can do something else. We can send it. We can send both of them here. And we can send the Sevastopol uh, there. So we're going to follow them so they'll have uh, enough fuel to return. And now these guys don't have radar, but they do have detection here. So let's see, because I do want some additional... Oh, oh, that fuel keeps going down. That's not good. I was not expecting that. Uh, maybe I should have done full. I forgot the fueling controls. Uh, that's not good. All right. Yes, I know that. No fuel. Actually, you have to go to there. Oof, that was not good. Can you land? Um. Okay. Oh, they are, they are landing. Okay. So they are now refueling, right? Are they? No. We have to actually buy the, ref the, the fuel. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Whoops! I was not expecting that fuel to go down that quickly, but the time does advance very, very quickly. However, this is, um, this might be okay, because now we might be able to get these guys. They should be somewhere around here. Let's see. I've never tried pursuing an enemy like this before. And now they have to follow this route and see if they can find that transport. It's money. We've already used quite a bit of fuel here, though. Still nothing. Really? Really? Nothing. There we go. Oh, and they are uh, calling for help. So we have to get them. Quick, quick, lightning. Oh, no. Oh, darn it. Oh. Yeah, they did. The enemy has sent a warning message about our presence. The local garrisons will sound the alarm and start looking for us. Oh, that sucks. Before long, the strike groups will change course and head this way, but if they have any aircraft carriers, they'll probably send planes here first. The transport ships will change course as well and try their best to stay out of danger. Either way, Grand Duke, the less the enemy is warned about our presence, the better. How... how did they do that? We, we've had so much speed with the lightning. I mean, the lightning is super fast. Oh, excellent. This transport ship is no armed escort. She will surrender without a fight. Well, at least that's something. I hate the fact that it also loses morale despite the fact that there was no fighting. So we just go here and we wait and that's it. It's kind of funny, but that's how it is. All right, so now... And there's a riot danger uh, because I suppose we have these guys on board. Uh, right, now we have to get back and now we have... Oof. We have to decide what the heck to do. Uh, let's go there right quick. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. See, now you can see them on the... Um, on the... Um, uh, radar there. If you do this, boop, there they are. Which is exactly where they are. Uh, this is going to get interesting. I need to get there, but the strikes are... We're gonna have to use the intel to see where the strike groups are. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh. Yes, General, send them. So, mm, let's put, let's uh, send the two. Um, why can't I? There we go. I only need that much fuel, really. That doesn't seem to increase their speed any. So, oh well. Um. Yeah, 
I'm gonna send the two lightnings there for now. They should be fine. But the problem is... Strike, group, strike groups will be coming this way. So I don't like that one bit. Alright. Price ship. Another one. Excellent. Oh, no, there's no price ships. What are you talking about? These guys are already flying, and they've got no armor up top. Alright, well, let's get this guy then. Oh, no you don't. I love... <laughs> I love the maneuverability of this. Boost. So nice. So nice. This game is so awesome. I love it. Alright, continue. And let's also land here. Lightning Mark 2. Alright, veteran medic. The ship's casualties are reduced by 30% or the ship is 20% more maneuverable in combat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. Alright, search for survivors. Ammunition. Uh, let's disassemble the hull first. Excellent. We've received some repair parts for our ships. Repairs will take much less time while we have spare parts in stock. Excellent. Alright, um, we can also take the Zenith, but it's only one. I don't really want to waste time. We're going to secure the ammunition. Uh, mm, would be nice if we could go to the captain's cabin, but not right now. Boom! There we go. Excellent! We do have time for that. Perfect! Intercepted enemy communications. Mention Tarkon ships far east of city uh, Tafet. Use caution when navigating area. Far east of city. But that stuff doesn't matter. It says far east. Wow, they were wrong. Interesting. They get wrong information as well. Uh, unfortunately, that is now moot because we've been detected. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to be careful. Uh, only 23. That's fine. I'm gonna land it anyway. Let's go for the 58, even though it doesn't matter, but we, we cannot tarry here. We cannot tarry. We have to go. We'll use the... We might refuel. We'll see how much fuel we have. And then we're gonna get out of here. I love these soft dodge downs, it's so nice. Alright. A dozen colorful tents dot the sand along the edge of the city, surrounded by vehicles and scurrying, scurrying servants, all signs of a visiting caravan. You decide to pay them a visit and ask them about current events. The caravan leader invites you into his tent and shares his deepest concerns with you. Grand Noyon, the stars that guide us are disappearing! You hear emotion in his voice as he continues. I refuse to believe it at first, but the star of the East, Al Jarmi, has not been in the sky for a month. The charts I bought in Meshed are useless now that Al Jarmi is no more. These are the end times, Grand Noyon. These are the end times. The Elaim shakes his head in sorrow. Oh, uh, let's let's ask him about the hidden cities. Hidden in a tent and away from prying eyes, the leader of the caravan discreet tells you of a hidden city to the northwest of here. That's excellent, because we are going northwest. Alright, ship works. Uh, let's quickly repair this. There we go. It... I cannot believe that uses 57 repair parts. That's insane. It's for some minor damage. Like scuff marks. Look at this place. It's... It's so cool. Alright, uh, let's see. Grand Duke, we have captured the Troposcaptor communication station. It will supply us with intel on enemy movements until they realize what's happened. Alright, so now... We have to do the creepy stuff. Strike group. Where is it? How far away? Oh, bloody hell. It's quite close. Alright, this thing has a speed of 102. So... Seven hours. I don't know if they're going to refuel there. So they'll be here in about 15 hours. 15 hours. That's uh, that's not good. So, yeah. Hmm. 
No, uh, six in the evening or whatever that is. I, I don't know if that's in the evening or the uh, what it is, but at six we need to leave. Actually, we need to leave before that because of the radar. Yeah. So let's see. Any trade? Okay, this guy's going away. That's a shame. And more trade. There. But we don't know where he's going. Alright, so that's useless. Okay. Oh, that's taking a long time. Nice, we've sold that. Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. We're not gonna fuel here. We're gonna get the heck out of here. We need to go. Uh, so to the northwest, it says... Which one? Is it this one? It might be. So let's go. We need to go. Ship repairs. Cheaper fuel. Yeah. Um, go, go, go. How... Where's the radar range? Yeah, that's quite a lot. They might... Uh, I think we'll just get out of there. Go, go, go. do that nothing on the IR for now so now we're sort of in uh oh all right let's see and of course it's coming from there that's probably the TAS group Jade, arrival in nine hours, now heading north, northeast, no passengers, no, obtain water, 20 ton Harrier. Okay. They're still not encrypting their uh, communications, which is good. Uh oh. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, shoot. They, uh, they did detect us. Well, I don't know, but they probably detected us. The Ellen antennas detect enemy radar signals and calculate the approximate bearing to the target, which is 60, which is that strike group. I knew we should have gone down there first. A radar signal is a telltale sign of a considerably well-armed ship. If we're close enough to detect their radar signal, that means they're close enough to detect ours, but we don't have it on, so that's good. I'd rather keep our radars quiet for now, Duke. Just to be clear, this button turns the squadron's radar systems on and off. Oof. Now, I don't know what Elint 1 means. I guess that's a weak signal, and then you get more as the signal progresses oh dear I know okay Oof. it's gone oh let's see come on where are you you were here yeah 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 Regulus travel speed 100 moving north be ready to provide fuel Okay, that's not, that's not the task group, but I think, I think we've just escaped them. It would be nice if you could hover over this and it would show you the range where you would be scanning. Uh, ground. Oh, that's cool. You can also do ground. Let's do sectors. Well, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. They might detect that as well, even though if I just do it. I, if I point it one way, I don't think they should detect it. I think we've just, just escaped that strike group there. Because they must have been up around there going for Taffet. And they've detected... Oh, well, they didn't necessarily detect us. We detected them. Oh, we've got ECM as well. Um, but our radar was off. So I think we've just avoided them. Oh, man. Oops. You need to set the range first, my duke. Yes. Ebonite will arrive in approximately less than an hour. Flying north, be ready to provide fuel. Vostok. Uh, so, Vostok, is that their name or is that Ebonite? Less than an hour flying north. I don't know where that is. And then Vostok, is there a Vostok thing here? Because he's clearly there somewhere. No. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna bother ourselves with that Oof. let's see yeah there's 
that much. That's quite a long range, actually, for the radar, so we have to be careful. <laughs> We're gonna get a low fuel warning in a bit, probably. Yes, General. Alright, lightnings are gonna do the same thing as always. Um, Alright, send them forward. Man, that was, that was butt clenching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, no transports there. Would be nice. Oh, attack most vulnerable sites. Fuel system damage can cause a fire to spread over adjacent modules. A direct hit to the captain's bridge will make the vessel uh, spin out of control. Blow up generators and all subsystems will undergo loss of electrical power. Destroying engines on one side of an enemy ship will destabilize it. That's horrible to have in combat, by the way. An ammo rack explosion will tear the vessel to pieces. Alright. So we got two ballistics and one slogger. They only got some armor on the side. So as per usual, we're gonna go for the bottoms and the tops. Well, we start right here. That's excellent. Oh my god, did you see that? The, the bullets bounced off. That was amazing. I love this game so much. Oh, I don't want to be there because I don't know what that is. Oh, no, no, you don't. That was cool. So if we try to get this guy in between them, I don't think they have another salvo, though. Come on. Okay. Another salvo coming. Ah, yes! <laughs> Whoa! That was lovely. <laughs> no, you don't. Love. Whoa, 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 whoa. This thing is a lot more uh, man maneuverable. No, you don't. I gotta destroy him before he does. Come on. Oh, darn it. I actually destroyed one of his rockets. Nice. Man, the combat is so cool in this game. I'm sorry I'm so excited, but it's just... All, all these different systems, weapons, and, and stuff that you can do to avoid, or or like here, where, where one guy rocketed the other one. <laughs> Having gained combat experience, the team will repair the ship 20% faster, and the ship's casualties are reduced by 30%. Let's do that. Ooh. Um, search the cabin, disassemble the hull, secure the ammunition. Let's secure the ammunition first. Uh, okay, I have to secure the fuel tanks because otherwise this is it's gonna blow one of these. Uh, hull would be nice, but for now I'm gonna do this, and now we're gonna push the cap. Oh crap! Oh, wait, wait, wait! That's um. Oh, oh there's no way we can catch this one. They're gonna report it. Oh no! All of these guys are way too slow. Way too slow. And we're just doing the captain's cabin. Yeah, look at that. Darn it! Ships of Garati, Tarkin spotted far north of City Kash. Additional security requested for allied ships in the area. Ah, oh, this is so bad. Because we have to... We have to... Refuel here. This is so bad. This is super, super bad now. Emergency action plan in case of fire. Yeah, we know about that. Okay, so it's just a price ship. So at least we're getting some money from this. This is really bad. Oh, this is... Uh-oh. Uh, oh, well, land as fast as possible. What? Where, where are you going? Oh, you're landing, okay. Oh, man. No damage on any of these, I'm not gonna be landing. We're just gonna... Wait. Oh, I have to land. If I want fuel and stuff, I guess. Um, okay, fine. Uh, let's just take a lightning. We're in deep doo-doo now, because we've got no fuel, we have to spend a long time here. 
this is not good. Not good at all. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do here. This might be the end of us. We'll see. It says that the strike groups are better avoided. Which I'm assuming means that they've got a lot of really nasty... Nasty stuff on them. They, they can fire weapons. I mean, uh, missiles at us. And supplies. <laughs> this is gonna take forever to reload. There is no way we can do this and avoid the uh, strike groups. We got a lot of incendiary. Why is this not going down? We're using it, aren't we? Let me, let me check. Yeah. These are 100 millimeter shells. So why are we not using that? I have no idea. Yeah, there's nothing to repair. They got some hail and extinguishers. We could put more of them on, on here, of course, but uh, that will slow it down. I kind of don't want to do that. Um, fuel tanks, yeah. But more propulsion, look at that. A high efficiency fixed propulsion engine designed as a primary source of thrust on a heavy ship. Power! How much is that? Um, 110 mega newtons. And these ones are 32. And these are fixed as well. So if I was to, for example, take this off, could I even fit that one? Uh, no, not that one. That one. No, there's no, there's no space for that. E30S. Oh. Okay, so never mind that. Uh, yeah, this this is gonna get real interesting now because silent strike is impossible. Alarm raised. Well, we can once again let's wait a little bit and then get the strike group data. Oh. Okay, these guys are going there. That's another one. Unless, wait a second. That's Titan. So that's a strike group Titan and strike group Vostok. <laughs> oh, no. These guys are going here. And Vostok was probably here somewhere. So now they're most likely going here. Oh, no. Uh, the range on this is like this, the radar. So we're going to have to go straight to Kebet. We need to get to Asan, though. We do have a nuclear missile. We could fire at them. I've never done that before. I don't know if it's actually useful against those guys. Oh, this sucks. Tactical. What was that? Did I get any tactical data? Eh. Oh, these guys. That's an aircraft carrier group. See moon. Why do those guys have that yellow bar there i don't understand that anyway thank you so much for watching we might be dying next time um but you know like i said i'm not very good at this game so thank you very much for watching please uh like the video if you like the series and comment down below what you think is gonna happen because i have a bad feeling about this have a good one Bye bye